in your object diagrams to show how objects function together in a particular scenario, connect them using a simple line. Label these lines to make the nature of the relationship clear. As you can see in this example, we have five instances of the employee class, and we have two instances of the project class. And simply identifying instances of the various classes doesn't give you a lot of information. What we want to do in our object diagram is explore the different ways in which these classes or objects within these classes can relate to each other. And as I said, we do that by drawing a line. So we have various links between objects in the employee class and objects within the project class. For example, we see here that an employee, an object in the employee class, can be connected to more than one instance of the project class. But to make this even more helpful, label the lines. For example, Art Ortiz, an instance of the employee class, could be a team member in relation to the project class. So Art Ortiz is a team member in the Chaos Project. Similarly, Bill Owens can be a team member in both the Chaos Project and in the Pandemonium Project. Lisa Jones, who is also associated with the Chaos Project, could play a different role, perhaps the role of manager. So we have different objects within the employee class playing different roles in relation to the project class. Similarly, Paula Kennedy, who's an employee, could be a manager within the Pandemonium Project. And then another instance of the employee class, Carl Thorson, might play a different role of consultant. So using this example, you can see how by labeling the links between objects within the different classes, we can explore various ways in which they can relate to each other. Now a couple of comments on relationships between objects in your object diagram. The relationships in an object diagram correspond to associations between the classes that the objects instantiate. So if there's no association between two classes, there can be no association between instances of those classes. In the same way, any constraints you've placed on associations between classes also apply to the objects that are within those classes.